Hey guys, uh, so I want to chat to you about uh, what the difference between surveys, experiments, and observational studies are. So I have a little illustrations here to try and show what are the key differences between the three of those. So kind of the example I'm using here is uh, you'll see two stick figures. Uh, one is me and one would be my, my seven-month-year-old son. So let's start with a survey. So a survey really is just you're asking a question to someone. Now you're going to ask obviously more than one person, but uh, I just use a basic example here. So a survey would be me asking my son, which cereal is your favorite? Which, you know, he's not exactly great at answering. So you're just asking a question to a sample and you're getting some sort of response back. That is all you're doing in a survey. Now, when you switch to an experiment, that means you're actually going to try and control something there. So myself, I'm going to kind of sort things out, set up something, and maybe I force the people involved to do something, and then we look at results. So an experiment in this case, in my drawing, I separate three different cereals here. I have this black cereal, this red cereal, this blue cereal, and I'm going to have my son try all three cereals, and then he's going to figure out which one is, is his favorite. So I'm making him do something. So I'm I'm forcing whoever's in my uh, experiment here to try each cereal, we call those treatments, and then he's going to determine which one is his favorite cereal. So there's some involvement on my end. It's not just a question. There's something that's going to happen, and then we're going to get information from that. Our final scenario we looked at is observational studies. So I'm not really doing anything. You know, the key really there is the observational part. You're just kind of sitting back and just watching what happens to the subjects that you're studying and what they choose to do. So what you're going to see is this is a thought bubble of me realizing he picked rice puffs. So I didn't really set up any sort of options. I just sit back and watch what happens and record information from that. Okay, so a quick review is a survey. I'm going to ask questions and I'm going to get information. In an experiment, you're going to have a lot more set up there. Uh, you might have treatments, things that happen, and then I get my information. And an observational study is very, very hands-off. You just kind of sit back and watch what happens. So that is the difference between a survey, an experiment, and an observational study.